y'all love these and I do too. I got this because it's thin and gently. Baby kiss me. Yeah, so my shipment came in, my shipment of lashes. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna be sharing this with y'all soon. This closet <laughs> does not look cute in the least, but here we are nonetheless. I was mistaken. Let me let me tell you first of all. So I buy these lashes in bulk because why not? And I get them directly from China. I use AliExpress. My link is always below. Use it. You can always get lashes quicker to you by purchasing them from Amazon. Instead, they all come from the exact same place. I don't know why I was mistaken about the name or the number because I normally wear... This is a stash I already have. So here we have... But see, this is the thing that gets me. Why do they... Uh, okay. These are... This was just in my kit. This is D20. This I just purchased. It was here. This is D20. But do you see how this one is thinner here than it is right here? Same thing. I noticed this even with my D22s, which is the one I always wear. Y'all love these, and I do too. Some Sometimes these are really, really thick. Sometimes, uh, uh, I don't even know. This, they're just not always the same. Now, what I'm trying to say to you is I got, I got a stash of my D22s right up in here. This gotta go because although, no, they're just too baby for me. And you might, you might look at thinking, uh, that ain't for babies. Give me that. I'm going to put these in giveaways because, oopsie, the D20s are just way too subtle. You know, I like my lashes to be fluffy. Like, come on. So I'm restocking myself right here because I never let this get down to zero. Hello? If you know me, you just know that I'm going to stay ready so I never have to get ready. You feel me? So I'm gonna put these back here, but these other D20s, now forget it. I, I was mistaken. There's another one that I've bought. It's not D20. I don't know the number because this is D20. I bought 10 of each, right? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. No, I got 12. This is D20 and this is not gonna work for me. You're right looking at this like, they look so good. They're too small. They're not long and bold enough. So they're gonna go in the giveaways. I'll spread them out when I put them in the boxes for people. You know what I'm saying? And they're really, really affordable. Use my link. I wish I got a commission, but I don't. <laughs> this is a drawer full of stuff that I'm going to be giving away. I just fill it up and I put them in the boxes. I just finished a, an IG Live with Sephora, which went really well. I was in the beauty chat room. I was going to bring you up with me, but I was just way too overwhelmed. I literally just... Dallas recap. Let's talk about it. Literally just came from Dallas, came home, did my makeup, and had to get ready for the IG Live. Girl, your girl is working. <gasps> I forgot I have on makeup, and I'm rubbing my eyes like I don't know what today is. And I just looked at my hands like, why are my hands dirty? I have makeup on because I looked in the mirror, and this look is so natural. And I forgot. Oh my gosh, I never rub my eyes the way I just did. I never do that. What? With makeup on? No, ma'am. So, Dallas was great. The event was fantastic. I loved it. My issue was the hotel. Never again. Dallas, Fort Worth, Airport Marriott. Never again. I thought that that was the same airport I stayed at last time when I went for the Black Girls event, but it wasn't. I was mistaken. This airport, excuse me, not airport, hotel. This hotel seems older. It was nice, but it seems older. Listen, why did our room... So we switched from the, the king to the to a double uh, and it had no hot water. Do you understand me? In 2022 in the United States at a hotel, no hot water. So before the event, I showered in cold water and was a little bit late to the event because it was so chaotic. We had left the maintenance man in the room at about two o'clock to leave for lunch. He was there fixing the issue. Came back, there was no issue. Needed to get dressed for the event. Showered in cold water, went to the event late, but got there, thank God. The event was great. And then in the evening, went to dinner, came home, we're thinking, okay, we can shower it now. No, cold water again. Now, mind you, in, before the event, I had asked them to give us access to a different room just to shower and they did but when I went in that room that room also didn't have hot water so that's how I ended up showering with cold water so in the evening the guy gave us a bottle of wine to compensate us and I was like we need more we'll talk later but I just had no time so in the evening no hot water again and I was just over it just so tired I slept four hours the past two nights traveling event people sensory overload so you can just imagine with all the excitement the talking and everything going 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 it's like oh 
And I, as an introvert, afterward, it's exhausting. It's, even during, I was exhausted. So then in the morning, I was like, okay, I need a shower. It, it helps me wake up. And I like to shower. I just like to shower. Like, what in the world? There was no hot water in our room. So we had a key for a different room from the night before that I went into. And I'm like, oh my God, I turned the water on. There was no hot water. And then I was like literally about to leave. And I touched the water. I was going to turn it off, obviously. I touched the water and I was like, oh. Praise God, I had never been more happy to feel hot water. So we ended up having the hot water, but what? What kind of hotel is this? What kind of establishment? Just terrible. I came home, then got the flight from Dallas Houston. It's really fast. I am exhausted. I'm just gonna, I feel like I wanna wash my face. I wanna be free. I don't want this on anymore. I, I just wanna be free because I don't have to do any more work outside of, that was a desktop, but you know, administrative type stuff. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for every single opportunity that I have. I would never change it. I'm just really freaking tired. I have a scale that I wanna show y'all, but I'm not about to play with that right now. I'm gonna go wash my face off and then I'm gonna change it to pajamas because this is literally what I wore in the airport. Take it off, I'm gonna put my airport clothes in my bed. Take this off, change into pajamas, wash my face. I wanna go to the gym later, but I need probably like, gym, you just said you're tired. I know, I know. I'm talking about later. I have a lot of emails. I have 20 plus emails to look at. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> Don't y'all know I was on site? <laughs> I was working on site. Why y'all emailing me? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. My money is in that email. My money is in them email. Okay, praise the Lord. Praise them. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta show you what I got from Sephora uh, from the event. And I still need to put my camera away, but I bought this number 80 brush that I'm gonna use as a powder brush. The br no, do I have this? I just noticed. I have it. Okay, good, now I have two. I picked up another double wheel because what? Fantastic. Finally got my hands on YSL Libre. I got Intense. I wanted a bigger version, but this is the biggest they had at Sephora and Kohl's. Got another one in my KVD because the one in my bathroom kit is almost done. Number 98, you already know. I use this to contour. I have this and no, yeah, wait, wait a minute, hold on. Oh, this is what I was given. This is my, my computer. Okay, I did restock on my Charlotte Tilbury's. They don't have the refills. The refills are online only, so I just restocked on the actual ones. They provided this for me, yeah. So Laura Mercier Translucent, I've been using this, love it. Better than sex, chocolate palette, NARS, power, power mad lip pigment, ooh, dragon girl, Moroccan oil, hair treatment. And then I had some others that I gifted to Marie because I already had them, but cannot wait. Oh, let me open this up. I'm about to, you know what? I'm about to spray this on my body in my pajamas because I can't. this from i actually don't even know where was it walmart or was it amazon one of those i'll link it below but let me know if you've used this before i know that in the past i've done the hot water and i think it was vinegar but i just felt like you know what let me do this because i want to be really really sure so i'm going to follow the instructions and let's just do it together so turn on the hot water place one tablet in the disposal and then turn on the disposal for 15 to 30 seconds and then turn off the disposal. Okay, so this is simple. Sounds simple. So let's get the let the water get hot. So, hot water. Oops. <laughs> okay. Foam did not rise, but you know, felt nice to use it. So, opening a package for well, some packages right now here in the front, and this is a box from Forever Mood. Now, I don't know if you're part of the Candle Club. If you are, comment and let me know. But I am, and I don't know why I got confused between that and the Owambe collection. What it is is I purchased the Owambe collection. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure. 
after I saw the launch on my own. But I don't know why I thought that was a Candle Club. This was a Candle Club box. So it comes every quarter and this is a mini that came in the Candle Club. It smells soft right now, but might be really strong when I actually burn it. And this is another candle in the Candle Club. Y'all love me a good candle, honey. And for the way that these candles throw, meaning the, the potency, how strong they are, and how they permeate, this is a really good deal. Because, and they burn slowly too, so they burn really well. They don't burn quickly. To be honest, the Bath and Body candles burn fast. Like, they burn fast, okay? It just is what it is. They're cheaper, they burn quickly. But what kills is we still buy. Like, I still buy them, you know? Okay, ooh, what is this? Low key. I don't, I didn't know. Ooh. Ooh. This isn't the, these aren't the really fancy boxes, so I don't have the notes on, no, the notes. I don't have the, yeah, they call them notes. Whatever, I don't have that on them. Oh, fly. What the hell? What the? So irritating. I didn't catch it. Wow, that one smells really soft. It smells like cashmere. And let's see what this one is. High key, okay. So we got low and high key. Ooh, I'm not breaking nails. Oh my gosh. I really feel like taking these nails off just because I have some editing to do. And when I have long nails, I feel overwhelmed when I have to edit. I feel like I'm being limited. That's what it is. And the good thing is that they're press ons So I can literally take them off right now and put them back on them. A new set, of course, not the same one. I don't save sets. Okay, this one's darker chocolate, high key. Huh, they're soft and creamy. Wow, interesting. I look forward to burning these. They're soft. And then, oh, this is not what I thought. Okay, this is not what I thought. I was thinking about something else. Okay, this is from Pattern Beauty, and I didn't know they had a brush. Ow. Pattern Beauty shower brush. Love to see it. For my curly, great for curlies, coilies, and tight textures. Yes. I'm going to change the one I have in my shower right now because I think it's pink or blue. It ain't going to go with the aesthetic. Hello. And I'm sure this will work well. We're going to try it out and obviously find out. This is the Detangling Nectar to separate and soften, so it's a leave-in product, I imagine. If you use this, comment and let me know. Apply to wet or dry hair, evenly section, apply the product, detangle the hair with the brush, perfect, and then spray each section with a hydrating mist before applying the detangling neck. What? Oh, pro tip. Spray each sex sex uh, section with the hydrating mist before applying the detangling nectar. So this is to be left in the hair then. All right. And then here's a cute hair clip. I'm going to put this in the shower because you know when you... This is cute. I never think to use these on my hair after I've detangled it in the shower. I normally put it in a hair scrunchie. That is so terrible. I'm going to use these. Okay, here. I cannot wait to go put these in my shower or whatever. In case you're wondering, I started to unbox things right here in the entryway because if there are ants on the boxes from being left in the front, I can easily spray and clean here versus putting these in the studio on the carpet. And then there are ants on the boxes, which happens inevitably. It's annoying. I just unboxed them here. Ooh, yum. So Amazon, I got these margarita collection syrups to go and make margaritas. Obviously, zero calorie. No, five calories, zero sugar, margarita mixes, bomb. I'm used to it. If you're not used to drinking skinny type products, you're going to think, oh, this is gross. I'm used to the taste. It does take some acquiring. It takes some getting used to. But I'm, yeah, I'm used to it. And I like it. I think it tastes delicious. I got some Lux glassware. Let me show you. All right, we got a stirrer. Uh -huh, what you call this? A stirrer? We got a stirrer. 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 Whatever. You know what I mean. Ooh, and I thought about getting one that had a little design, a little bevel to it, but these are real simple margarita slash martini glasses. Imagine doing an espresso martini. I plan on getting an espresso machine. I've never had an espresso martini in my life. But either way, like really cute to have your martinis in. Oops, here we go. Clank, 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 clank. Ow. I'm excited. I'm excited. 
it's all about the aesthetic. Hi. So cute. Yes, yes, y'all. Yes. things came in from Amazon, I literally ordered these today. Thank God for Amazon saying data. What well, got a clipboard because I just like to feel a little official. <laughs> and I have a contract and a brand campaign brief that I need to read and they're so lengthy that I printed them so that I can read them. And then I'm putting them in the clipboard. Do you understand how happy this makes me feel? I am that person. I really, really am. And then I've got my red pen. Where's my red pen? Excuse me. I had folio. Listen, I studied business in, in college, so I'm I'm a pad folio kind of girl, and I was going to take up pad folio, but I was like, you know what? That's a lot for being at home. Let's just hold off on that. But I remember, I remember pad folio presentation. Back then it was PowerPoint. Now, what do y'all use? I have no idea. I haven't done it in a, in a very long time. Google, what do you use? What do people use? Is there, I know there's sheets. Girl, I don't know. I don't care. Okay, anyway, I got my clipboard because I'm about to review all of these things. But I also got another purse thing because although mine is great, it also has, not this one with a, a cord, Although mine is great and it does have a flashlight on it, I got this because it's thin and so it'll fit into my purses a lot easier because the other one is, a, it's like a, you know, it's round like this and this will just slide into the purse easier. It's also rechargeable. Oh, and it turns on very easily. Oh, and it's, it's very powerful. It has two levels to it. Very lovely. We'll link this below. And of course, it, like I said, it's chargeable. I'm gonna charge it. I'm gonna charge it up right now. And then I got more of these wireless motion sensor lights because they are a hit in my house, okay? And I'm gonna put some in the guest bathroom because I like a vibe. I don't always like lights on all the time. And in the bathrooms, these are just great because they're wireless motion sensored. And I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put them. Cause they're just great. I had them in my closet already. They're just fantastic. No, that man can get it right. Wait, bad man fi waste no time. Wind up your body, girl, no matter. No pattern. Give me any how you feel I'm a muggy. You make my head to swell. I make a man fi sweat to hear. Baby, love me gently. Baby, kiss me gently. I know you. 